now we are going to start with our css section not to waste time i have already pasted all the css code as well as i will be giving this complete css styling in comment section so that you can copy and follow along with me in this project so what i have done i have imported this google font poppins whatever fonts you want you can use and this css part will be divided into two sections first is normal css and second is css stylings for the code which we are going to implement in javascript so i have given this basic styling padding 0 margin 0 and all these things if you want you can take the screenshot as well or else you can pause the video and you can copy this code and for this div container we are having this entire div container which is holding our entire project for this i have given with i have given margin auto so that my entire content will be coming in the middle and i have given display flex so that my container will come exactly in the center so so i have given text align to be center so that whatever content i am having inside that container that will be coming in the middle that will come in center then we have this heading for heading i am not going to give any class because i want to show the heading as well as i have given this margin margin when i give only one value it is going to take all the four sides top left bottom and right for input field we have given the stylings for search button random button okay all the stylings i am going to give you in the comment section so once all our css styling is done here our javascript styling comes so this we are going to see when we start writing javascript code so until here you can just take the screenshot or you can copy from comment section i will just scroll slowly random button then this is our result this one then meals container all meals okay basic stylings we have done here meal info so whatever containers we created inside our html part for that i have written basic styling then as soon as we start writing javascript we are going to use all these images paragraphs this h2 headings this ul list list everything that we are going to do in javascript now i am just going to save this file as soon as i save all the stylings whatever i have given here that is applied okay for random button it is not applied let me check here index.html okay my class name should be random btn save this now that styling is also applied as of now i am just going to remove this content and from here also i will be removing content and finally from here i am going to remove this content save this now our simple input field that is search box is displayed along with random button now using javascript we are going to display this heading whenever data is there then only we are going to display this heading we are going to display all these images and we are going to display this single image this all containers we are going to implement when we start writing javascript code so that time it will be easy for you to understand how these containers are created how we are going to create image how we are fetching data everything we are going to learn in javascript implementation section so it is very important if you are following along with me in this project then you have to use same classes if you are changing any classes then accordingly in css part in javascript code everywhere you have to change the classes be very careful in copying the classes and giving the stylings because if you change any one of the styling this containers or maybe any one of the styling will overlap okay, that's all for this section next we are going to start with javascript implementation